Hi, I'm Nathan Oakley and this is video log number four, hopefully in a series of many. And I wanted to do a quick video about guilt and whether or not uh, coming to the conclusion that a lot of us have that we've been deceived in a big way is fair game if you're asked for it. Uh, and I asked myself this question because today I was at work and I was actually working on the shop floor with staff that I've never interacted with before on and uh, uh, I'm usually out and about on the road driving. Um, so it's an interaction that I'm not accustomed to. And uh, the, the very sweet uh, kid, a 17 year old guy, whatever you want to call him, um, that was chatting with me and I was chatting with him, asking him, you know, what, what are you doing? What are you studying? What are you going to go to university to do? And um, as soon as geography got brought up, I sort of must have had too much of a wry smile on my face because I said, oh yeah, I've got a re recent interest in geography, which obviously it, it sort of sparked his enthusiasm enough to sort of quiz me on what I meant. And I had to sort of say, it's not really fair for me to, <laughs> to say this to you, but he quizzed and quizzed and quizzed and I think it just made him want to push harder to, to know exactly what it was that I was talking about. Um, so I told him, I said, okay, um, what shape do you think the world is? And he obviously said a sphere. And I said, well, how do you know? Uh, pulled the old Matt Boylan on him and said, well, how do you know it is? And his answer was one that actually I hadn't got that often, which is not a metaphysical or a mathematical or a logical answer. It was, well, everybody knows. And it was a bit of an eye opener because I'd never heard that one before. Uh, everybody knows it's a sphere. And you kind of think, yeah, that should be everyone's go-to. It's just the common knowledge. It's just a sphere we know, we've known for years. It's what's in the corner of every classroom. From the moment you're adding up one and one, you're being shown the globe. I'm guilty of it as much as anybody. My bless her little niece, when she was old enough to talk, I took her outside and explained what the planets were to her and explained what the stars were to her and told her how far away they are. And You know, this was before she could construct a full sentence and she's pointing up at them and saying stars and planets and totally fascinated with the whole thing of course and suddenly you realize I'm not lying to her but yeah I am I'm, I'm filling her with this nonsense um, without any real proof other than of course um, NASA and it bugs me with NASA everyone goes to the logo and looks at the snake tongue saying it's the T but it's the the NASA if you like so you know you don't need that tongue to be a, a, a part of the acronym. It's there right, right in front of your eyes. It's, it's pretty blatant. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was um, Balls Out Physics, which is a phenomenal series. There's only three so far, um, but he, Brian Mullen, has done an absolutely superb job of, um, I don't know if I've still got him um, playing away. I don't think so. Uh, no, we're on Tiger Dan stick back and see if we can find Brian Mullen. So this is Brian Mullen um, uh, and he does these three um, YouTube videos where he basically breaks down the gravitational constant, um, gravity and the sun and centrifugal forces and their relation uh, and he comes to some pretty startling conclusions. Like most people he, w I would call him a um, baller sceptic, you know he's trying to prove that we are on a globe and he's just found lots of anomalies in the maths. Uh, I think he's a, a surveyor of some description. And he, he's seen some anomalies and I think being an intelligent guy when they've told him in college or university that you have to obey these rules and use these equations to work out an answer to this problem, he felt constrained, or at least that's how he explained it. But um, for anybody who can you know, dedicate the time to sit through his videos, they're about half an hour long. Um, it, it's worth watching even if you only have the mildest grasp of what he's trying to explain because he does sum up at the end and it's worth sort of getting at least a vague idea of what he's summing up by watching the video. So don't be tempted to just skip through to the end and, and see his conclusions because he openly confesses that he's, he's out there putting his hand out going help me please let me go back to enjoying Star Wars I just wanted to be a ball so you can feel the guy's pain he's reaching out it's worth watching his videos um, I hope he does loads and loads and loads of them um, but yeah uh, back to the point of the video which is should I feel guilty you know I've essentially told 
a young guy that the world is flat. Um, you know, I've, I've peppered it as much as I humanly could with, look, don't take my word for it. Just, just go out and look for yourself. Don't trust me. You know, look, don't, you know, trust anybody because that's where you are thinking that you're spinning around at a thousand miles an hour and around the sun at 67,000 miles an hour and around the galactic center at half a million miles an hour and gravity is the magical force of everything anyway before I go into a long rant about uh, all of that I will bid you farewell I've been Nathan Oakley and I will see you in the next one